Hello and welcome to February's monthly Oracle card guidance. Uh, we have three decks today and uh, the first is the Anubis Oracle, uh, which is this deck here. It's an Egyptian a journey into the shamanic mysteries of Egypt. That's the subtitle. And we have the Fairies Oracle uh, here by Brian Freud and Jessica Macbeth. And we're using the Tower Oracle, which is a, like a deduction from the I Ching. Okay, so go ahead, make your selection, and let's get started. For those of you who've chosen the first option, which is the Anubis Oracle, we're asking, what can we expect in February uh, 2024? And what do we need to know about February Okay, so for those of you who've chosen the option number one, we have uh, the cards Isis, which is the Holy Queen, Mother of us all, embodiment, manifestation of love. We have Amun-Ra, which is solar energies, transfiguration, and alchemical gold. And we have Tnum, uh, which is master craftsman, creator of form, organizing principles, uh, or principle. And so... Uh, we have quite an interesting dynamic of energies here in February. And from an energetic point of view, just looking at February it, and an astrological point of view, it is quite a huge month in terms of change and um, and transformation. And so this uh, reading here and these cards are kind of underlying what's about to happen in February and how it is that you uh, deal with February. What can you expect and how you can actually uh, work with what the uh, the energies are that are coming to you and it's suggested for you that you begin the the month which I know we are um, you probably only watch this on the 4th of February and February is a short month so I've just chosen three cards here today but you probably just um, start the month with um, trying to embody an essence of love Okay, so whatever else is going on in your life, whatever stress you might be having, whatever anxiety you may be experiencing, or whatever dissatisfaction, frustration, or irritation that you may be experiencing, which is a residue from the previous month, uh, the the card, uh, the first card here, is suggesting that you uh, wash it away with pure love, with an embodiment of love. Try to embrace love to replace the uh, otherwise unsettling emotions that you may have. And that is the first energy for the month. So for the first 10 days of the month, that is what you need to be doing. You need to be actively trying to replace whatever other energies that you have uh, in your life, which are coming to the fore with a feeling of love so that you can raise the vibration to be able to deal with or to be able to take in adequately uh, the transformation that's taking place energetically in the month of February. Now, as we come to the second 10 days of uh, February, so from the, yeah, from the 20, from the, sorry, the, the 10th to the, the 19th or the 20th, what the card we have is solar energies and that's transfiguration. It's um, alchemical gold. So it's talking specifically about the astrological um, work and the energetic work that's taking place around us around all of us in this planet and how it is that you can access it or what it is that you can use for it so as you uh, replace whatever negative vibrations or negative energies or energies simply that drain you in the first 10 days what we're talking about in the second week in the second 10 days of february is that you are going to be using the peace that you've attained the love that you've acquired and you've worked hard to maintain to be able to raise your vibration, to be able to access purely the channel that's opened um, for you and to be able to manifest whatever it is that you'd like. So it's like this meters touch and you can actually go ahead and 
and create whatever it is that you desire. So this is a fabulous energy and it is um it is quite, uh, you know, it's quite simplistic when you listen to the astrologers and you listen to other energy forecasts, perhaps for this um, month. But I, I'd say that this is the most simplistic and the most accurate because it is really about raising your vibration in the first 10 days in order for you to be able to uh, move to a different space, which is actually going to be more uh, beneficial to you and which allows you to create what it is that you desire not just for February but for the rest of the year and I would say it's a 12-month cycle and so it continues like that and then as we enter the last week of February you're able to put into action what it is that you've been dreaming about what it is that you want to do so I think that the first uh, two weeks of uh, well the first three weeks oh the first 20 um, days of February let's say that is really going to be about managing your emotional landscape and your spiritual landscape in terms of your energy etc but then as you get into February you are going I mean into as you heading into March in the last couple of week, days of February you are going to be able to get into quite a good uh, rhythm to be able to work to be able to do things that you want to do you're going to be able to put into action what it is here that you've manifested and what has been evading you uh, here at the beginning of February okay so I'm going to leave you there I think that is a beautiful reading and it really is quite accurate for the energy of February and I hope that you are able to use this um, this this advice or the suggestion rather to to embody love and replace love with whatever other emotions that you're having in the first 10 days and then to be able to uh, just focus on your manifestation uh and and yeah and and transfiguration in the second 10 days so that you can actually begin really your year and and the 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 kind of um um energy that you need to put into to and behind your work for the year of 2024 all right wishing you all brilliant february let me know how it goes and i will come back to you soon with another reading many blessings from kismet rising and for those of you who've chosen the second option which is the fairies oracle we are asking what do we can what can we expect from february what do we need to know for february and how is it that we can help um, or elevate our February what is it that we can do to make it better or to be able to act uh, pro um, to essentially harness the energy of February sorry I'm getting a bit mixed up with my words here this morning So for those of you who've chosen the second option here, we're using the Fairies Oracle by Brian Freund and I think it's Jessica Macbeth. And the cards we have are the Lady of the Harvest, which is number 18. We have the Journeyman, which is 15. And we have the Laume, which is number 30. And it talks really about the energy, as I see it anyway, as we come out of January into February. And what is it that we are doing what is it that we are experiencing and the lady of the harvest in the first 10 days of february is talking about leaving something behind it's talking about uh, completing something it may talk about grief or loss but it's talking more about the completion or the ending of a cycle um and being able to say goodbye and to be able to do it in a way that is honoring what it is that is taking place now when i'm talking about saying goodbye it could be that you're saying goodbye to your holidays or it could be that you're saying goodbye to your um to a particular project that you've been working on it could be that you're saying goodbye to somebody who's been with you for a while like staying with you as a guest or something like that or something else well, you will know what it is in your life but the energy for the first 10 days of February is very much about bringing things to completion and also tying up loose ends also ensuring that uh, things are complete so that you can begin the next phase of your life and um, as you go deeper into February in the, from the 10th to the 20th of February we have the card the journeyman and th that talks about setting off 
on your own. It's almost it's quite similar in a way to the uh, the fool card in the tarot. I would I would say, but the journeyman here is really about being able to uh, head off in your own direction, do what is right for you. Um, you are not really taking care of others here or taking care of the community as you are with the Lady of the Harvest. You are aren't you know making sure that all as well here you are taking care of you and what it is that you desire you're accessing and tapping into your freedom that you have and looking at the power of that and allowing that to lead you so that you may actually reach uh, a point that you desire which we don't know what that is right now but you are going to be setting off somewhere so it might be that you're setting off into your work uh, it might be that you're setting off and you're traveling somewhere it might be that um as you come into the um uh, the the from the 10th to the 20th of february as you're coming to that period you are you could be actually going somewhere maybe you're taking a day trip maybe you're going away for a few days you could be um traveling to another place in that you just um at home and deciding to engage in an online course or you could be doing something where you're reading books that are or engaging in a particular um area of your interest that you don't normally give time to so it, it could mean quite a lot of things it doesn't have to mean that you are traveling you're traveling in some way your soul your spirit is traveling you are reaching new front frontiers and you're allowing yourself to do that whereas here you're not really allowing yourself to do that because you're kind of weighed down by all the things that you have to finish and all the things that you have to take care of and the others that you have to take care of and you're you're free to take care of yourself and to see what it is and what and to feel what it is that you need at this time. And we, as we come to the end of February, as we come to the last 10 days of February, we have the card here, the Lama, which is very much about being at one with the universe, very much about being content and at peace and in bliss, in fact, but not in a, in a way that you feel very connected to the world and nature uh, so that you're able to give in a way that's quite organic and to be able to receive in a way also that is quite organic. So having that balance right is really important as you come to the end of February. And I feel that you'll you'll arrive at that point where you're able to give and you're able to receive. You'll be able to love unconditionally uh, and you'll be able to receive that love that you that you receive that you get from others as well, not just give all the time. So or not or not just receive. And so I think that that it's a very beautiful place to be in as you come to the end of February because you are quite balanced. You have been quite stressed as I think as you entered February or had quite a lot on your plate and then you've cleared your plate as you enter the, the from the you know from the end of the from the second week of February I would say and then as you come to the last bit of February there you have this peace and you are at one with yourself you're feeling aligned with nature with the universe with with the energies around you and you're able to truly enjoy what is happening around you but in doing so you're part of a bigger picture and you recognize that you're not needing to isolate yourself from the bigger picture you're not drowning by the bigger picture you're actually just one of the organisms or cells in a big organism and you're feeling okay with that and part of the the machine and I feel that uh, that that kind of imagery or metaphor can be used in a way that is quite negative but here it's it's giving quite a positive feeling like you you're really part of something that and you you it's not so much a focus on you and your internal world it's not so much a focus on those around you it's just kind of going along and functioning in a way that is in fact blissful to you all right so i'm going to leave you there i wish you a fabulous february and i hope it all goes according to plan and many many blessings from kismet rising and for those of you who've chosen the third option we're using the tao oracle uh, which is a kind of a shoot from the i ching and we're asking what is it that we need to know for february what is it that we need to know for february what is uh the advice what do we need to be warned of and uh yeah what to and how do we need to prepare for it? 2024, February 
Okay, so it feels to me as I read these cards that they're very similar to each other, even though the cards are quite different. The message is quite similar for all of the people for, for February. And uh, for those of you who shows an option three, we have we are using the tower arc. What I've done is I've separated February into 10 days. And the first card we have for the first 10 days is pushing upward. And it's the number 46. Well, the energy really is talking about you basically swimming upstream, having to deal with quite a lot of challenges, having to take care of quite a lot of things, having to deal perhaps with rowdy emotions and having to deal with quite a lot coming at you or ne you needing to take care of in order to be able to reach a point where you are actually okay. It's like you're pushing and you or you're walking uphill and you got to get to that plateau and until you do that, you can't actually stop. And so that is how the first 10 days of February is going to look for some of you uh, who's chosen this option. It's even if you aren't doing that much or you don't feel like you've, you've got quite a busy time, you are going to be uh, using your skills in a way that allows you to gain confidence and to hone in on certain skills that you have. To, you're actually quite active in the world in, in a way that is allowing you to uh, participate and feel proud of yourself for participating. So you may have challenges, but it's not going to weigh you down. It's actually going to lift you up, but it is going to be quite a lot that you are working with or do, doing. And I feel that um, as you do so, you are likely to receive some kind of recognition for the progress that you're making because you are able to make steady progress that people outside of you can also benefit from. And so I think that as you enter February, you are going to be quite busy and you are going to be um, doing quite a lot and you're going to be achieving quite a lot as well. So you're going to be making quite good progress and feel proud of yourself for doing so. And if you're not feeling proud of yourself, there are going to be others who are going to be able to acknowledge what it is that you're doing and and see that. And they may not necessarily tell you that, but it is a reckoning uh, of what it is that you are doing. As you enter the second 10 days of February, we have splitting apart. We have the card splitting apart. And it's the number 23. It talks about uh, something happening that's changing the energy completely. So you're no longer pushing uphill. You might just be separating from that energy uh, or from somebody. Perhaps somebody has been with you who's leaving uh, to go somewhere. And so that could be a splitting apart. It doesn't have to be permanent. But there is a kind of... Um, a decision that's being taken perhaps or an, a need to change the pace uh, of what's happening here to be able to move in a way that is slower or to move in a way that's more cognizant of what it is that you require uh, as, a, as a person. It could be that um, you just surrender to what is happening right now. Uh, it could be that you're just clearing out something yeah, just maybe clearing your place, uh, getting rid of things, eliminating the old. It could be that there's a death of a particular attitude that you have. Uh, you are chopping away some aspect of yourself that has been weighing you down and you are um, freeing yourself to be able to move ahead in a, in a lighter way. There is some kind of uh, feeling of change here, definitely some kind of impermanence, something that changes, something that shifts in the, in the from the 10th to the Feb, uh, 20th of February it's not a bad thing it's actually uh, it looks like a really good thing because what I see that comes out of it is grace and that's the number 22 and in the last week of February you are going to uh, be in the state of grace and this is quite similar to the reading that I did um, for the second option actually which is you know being at one with the world that you're in and, uh, you know, feeling the card, it reads here, adornment, bringing out beauty, elegance, the outer as a reflection of the inner, vanity, charisma, self-expression. So this is, um, you know, you, it's like you've, it's like you've been busy, like maybe, uh, just, I'm just going to give you an analogy, okay? It's not going to apply to everyone. But it's like you've been busy uh, cleaning up your place or your apartment or your home or moving into a new home and getting the furniture sorted out and moving in properly and then you kind of just you know collapse from being from exhaustion and just being tired of that and and you stop doing that and then you're just in a place of serenity and just enjoying 
the the efforts that you've put in here and the ability that you've given your yourself the permission that you've given yourself to just relax here or to break away from whatever it is that you've been doing and you are in a state of contentment here you're feeling well with yourself you're able to look after yourself and I love this card for you as you come to the end of February because as the rest of the world may be going uh, ahead at a greater pace you are going to be quite uh, still and silent in yourself with a dignity that you haven't been able to be afforded as yet in the month of February because you've been busy and being challenged here and because you've been uh, also taking a decision to to remove things from your life or to push things out of your life or to just be um, you know without something and then here you have everything that you need and you are feeling quite uh, at one with the world and it's a beautiful card and it's really just you know feeling the goodness of the world and being at one with it all right so it's going to be it looks like a february is going to be quite in you know in sync with the astrological energies the 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 general energy forecast which is going to start off with quite a lot of energies uh, um, that are robust and moving uh you know upward and and then you find your peace in it as you come to the end of February and as you uh, start winding down the month. And I think uh, it's going to be quite a productive month for many of you uh, as far as this is concerned. And I wish you all a beautiful February. Have a great time and many, many blessings. Blessings abound from Kismet Rising.